fictitious or fake entries are deliberately incorrect entries in reference works such as dictionaries, encyclopedias, maps, and directories. There are more specific terms for particular kinds of fictitious entry, such as Mount Weasel, Trap Street, Paper Street, Paper Town, Phantom Settlement, Phantom Island, Ghost Word and Nilartic. Fictitious entries are included either as a humorous hoax or as a copyright trap to reveal subsequent plagiarism or copyright infringement. An outright forgery intended to mislead the reader on a matter of substance would not generally be classed as a fictitious entry. Terminology The neologism Mount Weasel was coined by the The New Yorker based on a fictitious biographical entry in the 1975 New Columbia Encyclopedia. The term Nile Artica combines the Latin Nile and German Artica. It can also be written as Nile Article. Copyright traps By including a trivial piece of false information in a larger work, it is easier to demonstrate subsequent plagiarism if the fictitious entry is copied along with other material. An admission of this motive appears in the preface to Chambers's 1964 mathematical tables, those. Errors that are known to exist form an uncomfortable trap for any would-be plagiarist. Similarly, trap streets may be included in a map, or invented phone numbers in a telephone directory. In the United States, fictitious entries may be used to demonstrate copying, but are not always sufficient to prove legal infringement if the material was not eligible for copyright. These traps may still aid in detection of copying and may be proof of copyright infringement if the original material was eligible for copyright. Examples equals Official sources equals Most listings of the members of the German parliament feature the fictitious politician Jacob Maria Mieried, allegedly a member of the parliament since 1979. Among other activities he is reported to have contributed to a major symposium on the equally fictitious Stone Laus in Frankfurt. Equals reference works equals, the German language Der Ne Pauli. Encyclopanidie der Antike, edited by H. Kanzik and H. Schneider, Volume 1 includes a fictitious entry now well known amongst classicists, a deadpan description of an entirely fictional Roman sport, Apopudopalia, which resembles modern football. Appleton's Cyclopedia of American Biography contains about 200 fictitious entries. Zgzoen was the last entry in Rupert Hayes' Euro Unregistered Trademark Music Laversa Euro Unregistered Trademark Encyclopedia of 1903, and it continued as an entry in subsequent editions down to the 1950s. It was described as a Maori word for a drum. Later, it was proved to be a hoax. The 1975 New Columbia Encyclopedia contains a fictitious entry on Lillian Virginia Mount Weasel. Her biography claims she was a fountain designer and photographer, best known for Flags Up, a collection of photographs of rural American mailboxes. Supposedly she was born in Bangs, Ohio, and died in an explosion while on assignment for Combustibles magazine. Mount Weasel was the subject of an exhibit in Dublin, Ireland in March 2009 examining her fictitious life and works. The first printing of the 1980 New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians contains two fictitious entries, one Guglielmo Baldini, a non-existent Italian composer, and Dag Henrik Esram Hellerup, who purportedly composed a small amount of music for flute. Esram Hellerup's surname derives from a Danish village and a suburb in Copenhagen. The two entries were removed from later editions, as well as from later printings of the 1980 edition. In August 2005, the new Oxford American Dictionary gained media coverage when it was leaked that the second edition contained at least one fictional entry. This later was determined to be the word esquivalence, defined as the willful avoidance of one's official responsibilities, which had been added to the edition published in 2001. It was intended as a copyright trap as the text of the book was distributed electronically and thus very easy to copy. The German-language medical encyclopedia Firmbelkleinisches Wap paragraph Rutebuch features an entry on the Steinlaus, a rock-eating animal. The scientific name Petrofa Galoriotai implies its origin, a creation of the German humorist laureate. The Firmbel entry was removed in 1996 but, after reader protests, was restored the next year with an extended section on the role of the stone louse in the fall of the Berlin Wall.
Joel Hitpune's pop chart research books say that Ralph Martyr's version of the Song of Love peaked at number 84 for the week ending December 26, 1955. However, Billboard magazine did not put out an issue that week, and Martyr never recorded this tune. A similar situation occurs in his compilation of Billboard's rock charts, where Hitpune includes the fictitious song Drag You Down by the equally non existent group The Sisters. A possibly fictional entry within the Billboard charts was Ready and Steady, a record allegedly from a band named DA that managed to appear on the bubbling under the Hot 100 for three weeks in 1979. Hitpune spent three decades looking for a copy of the record before determining it did not exist, and the most likely candidate for recording it, a Chicago based band named Da. That was active at the time, denies ever recording a song by that name. Equals maps equals, fictitious entries on maps may be called phantom settlements, trap streets, paper towns, cartographers' follies, or other names. They are intended to help unmask copyright infringements. If caught, copyright violators wouldn't be able to explain the entry's presence on their maps. In 1978, the fictional Ohio towns of Beto's U and Gobbler were inserted into that year's official state of Michigan map as nods to the University of Michigan and its traditional rival, Ohio State University. The fictional town of Igloo, New York, was invented by mapmakers, but eventually became identified as a real place by its county administration because a building, the Igloo General Store, was erected at its fictional location. The town is featured in the novel Paper Towns by John Green and its film adaptation. Mount Richard, a fictitious peak on the Continental Divide in the United States, appeared on county maps in the early 1970s. It was believed to be the work of a draftsman, Richard Keechy. The fiction was undiscovered for two years. In the United Kingdom in 2001, the Ordnance Survey obtained a £20 million out-of-court settlement from Automobile Association after content from OS Maps was reproduced on AA Maps. The Ordnance Survey denied that it included deliberate mistakes in its maps as copyright traps, claiming the fingerprints, which identified a copy were stylistic features such as the width of roads. The fictitious English town of Argleton was investigated by Steve Punt in an episode of the BBC Radio 4 programme Punt P.I. The programme concluded that the town's entry may well have originated as a copyright trap. Equals trivia books, etc. Equals, the trivia encyclopedia placed deliberately false information about the first name of TV detective Columbo for copy trap purposes and then sued Trivial Pursuit, without success. The book The Golden Turkey Awards describes many bizarre and obscure films. The authors of the work state that one film described by the book is a complete hoax, and they challenge readers to spot the made-up film. The imaginary film was Dog of Norway, which supposedly starred Muki the Wonder Dog, named for the author's own dog. The urban legends reference pages include a section entitled The Repository of Lost Legends, containing false discussions of made-up legends. The aim of the stories in the section is to caution readers against using appeals to authority, and to encourage the checking of references for claims that seem unreasonable. The acronym for the Repository of Lost Legends spells out Troll. Within another of the Urban Legends reference pages, there are two records of entities that have fallen for the trap, one being the TV show Mostly True Stories, Urban Legends Revealed, and another a trivia board game called Urban Myth. Equals and fiction equals, fictitious entries are sometimes plot points in fiction, including, a Fred Saberhagen science fiction short story, The Inhalation of Anne Crowley Iron, in which an encyclopedia article for a star system was a fictitious entry included in the encyclopedia to detect plagiarism, which caused a berserker ship to end up in an empty star system where it ran out of fuel and ceased to be a threat to humanity. Jorge Luis Borges's La Paragraph N. Akbar, or B's Tertius tells of an encyclopedia entry on what turns out to be the imaginary country of Akbar. This leads the narrator to the equally fantastic region of Tlap Paragraph N, the setting for much of the country's literature. The fictitious entry Igloo, New York is a key plot point in John Green's 2008 novel Paper Towns and its film adaptation. Paper Towns also references the fictitious entry Lillian Mount Weasel in the name of the Speechman family's dog, 
min amount weasel. Equals other equals, Australian paleontologist Tim Flannery's book, Astonishing Animals, written in collaboration with painter Peter Shouten, describe some of the more outlandish animals alive on Earth. They caution that one of the animals is a product of their imagination and it is up to the reader to distinguish which one it is. Rhinogradentia are a fictitious mammalian order, extensively documented in a series of articles and books by the equally fictitious German naturalist Harold Station 1 quarter MPKE. Allegedly, both the animals and the scientists were the creations of Gerolf Steiner, a zoology professor at the University of Heidelberg. Each issue of the product catalogue for Swedish consumer electronics and hobby articles retailer Tenik Magazinet contains a fictitious product. Finding that product is a contest, bluff to currency Vlingen, in which the best suggestion for another fictitious product from someone who spotted the product gets included in the next issue. Muse regularly includes a two-page spread containing science and technology news. One of the news stories is false and readers are encouraged to guess which one. Games used to include a fake advertisement in each issue is one of the magazine's regular games. In the summer of 2008, state-owned Slovak Hydra Meteorological Institute got suspicious that a competing commercial service, website Meteo SK was stealing their data. The suspicion grew even stronger when after Schmash's three-hour-long website outage the data at Meteo SK was not updated for three hours as well. On August 7, 2008, Schmash deliberately altered the temperature for Tripok from 9.5 degrees Celsius to 1 degree Celsius. In a short time, the temperature of 1 degree Celsius appeared for Tripok at Meteo SK as well. The ANP in the Netherlands once deliberately included a full story about a fire in their radio newscast to verify if Radio Veronica really had stolen its news from the ANP. Several hours later, Radio Veronica also aired the story. Google, alleging its search results for a misspelling of TAS or AP started appearing in Bing results partway through the summer of 2010, created fabricated search results where a hundred query terms like Hanib, Delia Public School 40 CHD JOB, and Uegas Deb and Wonnegrand each returned a link to a single unrelated web page. Nine of the hundred fraudulent results planted by Google were later observed as the first result for the bogus term on Bing. Mailing lists may contain fictitious entries, for instance, lists used to solicit donations. These lists can have considerable value when they contain contact details of people known to give generously to specific types of causes. Mail sent to the fictitious entry indicates that some other party is using a copy of the list. Taro Tsujimoto is a fictional character often included in Buffalo Sabres reference works. Tsujimoto an alleged Japanese Ford, was the creation of Sabres general manager Georgia Euro OE Punch a Euro and which designed to fool the National Hockey League during the 1974 NHL amateur draft. Image drafted Tsujimoto and only months later a Euro well after the pick was made official a Euro admitted that the league had been fooled by the fictitious player. Franz Bibfeldt is a fictitious theologian created by Robert Howard Clausen for a footnote in a student paper. Bibfeldt was later popularized by Clausen's classmate Martin Marty as an ongoing and joked among theologians, including a book and a parody lecture series at the University of Chicago Divinity School. See also, April Fool's Day, Ardleton, Canary Trap, Culture Jamming, Easter Egg, False Document, Honeypot, Salt. Notes. References. David Fallows, Spoof, Grove Music Online Ed. L. Macy. Henry Alford, The Talk of the Town, The New Yorker, August 29, 2005 Issue, Michael Quinion, Kelamenope, Worldwide Words, Steve Burns, The Philip Columbo Story Ultimate Columbo Site. Further reading, The Literature About Fakes, Parody, Travesty, and Pastiche Barely Touches Upon the Phenomenon of Fictitious Entries. This may be because reference books are not in the view of the people writing on these topics. Among the few exceptions are two German language articles, Katharina Haynes der Orthodidakt in Berliner Morgenpost, July 16, 2000, Michael Ringel's Feilerkel, in the Tsar One Quarter die Zeitung Magazine, No. 41, 1998. External links, The Word, Copyright Trap.